Hi everyone, my name is Emily. I know it's been a while since I've last uploaded to this channel, but it's just that I've been busy with school. But I'm done school now, so here I am. Today, I'm gonna tell you about the products that I have used up, and I'm gonna tell you about the pros, the cons, if I'm ever gonna buy it again, and if I would ever recommend it to someone else. So let's get started. I wrote it all down in my iPad like a few days ago. So, yeah. There. Uh, yes. So let's get started with the first one. Okay, so the first empty would be my Bioderma Micellar Water. I got this when I went to the Philippines like three years ago or something, and I bought two bottles of this because I couldn't find them in Canada before. The pros about this product is it can take off makeup easily. Uh, it's reasonably priced, and I know that Garnier makes like a micellar water, and it's pretty good. It didn't cause any breakouts. It's good for sensitive skin, and actually I have another bottle of this in my cabinet that I'm trying to use up right now. Cons about this product is that you can't travel well with it because this is such a bulky packaging, but they came out with a travel size a few years back, or I don't know. I've just never seen it in Canada before. I've only seen the bigger ones, but now they have the smaller one, which we can you can travel with. And then it doesn't take off waterproof mascara that well, especially towards better than sex mascara. It can never take this one off. Sorry, I'm touching the front because everything's written in my iPad. So to conclude this, would I buy it again? Yes, I would. But not right now because I'm probably going to try other stuff like the Garnier one. I heard it's pretty good. Would I recommend it? Definitely. Um, I think it's a pretty good one for sens people with sensitive skin. It's not going to irritate you and it's just going to do the job. The next product is the Tony Moly Perfecting Sunblock. I think that the pros for this product is that it's affordable. You get 100 ml for the price. I guess this is like around $13, which is pretty good. And it does a job, like it keeps some rays out. You get any more like block spots from my pimples after using this. The cons of this product is that it gives a white cast. So you look like a geisha for the first like 30 minutes after applying this and it gets slightly oily, especially if you stay out in the sun after putting this on. So if you have drier skin or if it's winter over where you're from, then I feel like this will work out pretty well. Also, because it's such a big size, you can use it all over your body, which I used to do when I travel. So that's why there's a tape at the bottom because I don't want it to like leak over my suitcase. Would I buy this again? I don't think so because like I said, I have like combination skin. So especially in the summer, I would get like dry spots and then very, very oily spots. So I find that if I use this in the summer, like it gets really, really oily and I don't like that look. I like a glowy look, not an oily look. Would I recommend it to people? So if you're starting out and you have a limited budget, I think this would be a good option for you because you get a lot for what you pay for and it does the job, like I said earlier. So the next product is the Asset 4.0 Damage Spot Clearing Facial Cream. So I mainly use this for if I get breakouts and then it leaves a dark spot, then I put it on top the night before and it works very, very well for that. So I've used it all up, like there's barely nothing here. I think the pros for this product is that it's cheap. It's like around $13. Um, it lasts for quite some time because you don't use a lot. You just put like a tiny doll up on top of your pimple and the next day it gets lighter. It's so miraculous. It's like the best thing ever. And it's also very effective. Would I buy it again? Yes. I haven't gotten to buying it yet because whenever I buy K-Beauty products, I usually buy in bulk. So then I don't pay for like shipping for just one stuff and then what i recommend it to people if you can get your hands on it definitely especially if you're you have the type of skin that gets dark marks a lot after a pimple which i used to have but when i started using this I solved the problem 
I don't need anything else. Yeah. So go buy this one. The next product in our list is okay, this Claire's Vitamin C Serum. I have bought two bottles of this before I started not buying it. The thing is, this thing just darkens very, very easily and once it starts changing color, you can't use it anymore. But it does work really well. It makes your skin really glow. It's easy to use because of the dropper at the top. Yeah. And then it's very effective, especially when you use it with a Wish Trend sheet masks, those vitamin C ones and this one. If you use it every night, oh my gosh, your skin would just be like super, super glowy. Would I recommend it? Yeah. I feel like a lot of people have been using this. A lot of my friends are, and they really, really like it. I think I just don't keep it that well. It has to be stored in a dark, cold place for it to last longer. Would I buy it again? Um, I think no, because I've been trying out different vitamin C products and currently I'm using the Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum which works just as well and plus it's in an opaque container which prevents it from darkening faster I guess. This one is in a transparent container. They said that this one is more stable than other forms of vitamin C but Vitamin C is still very, very finicky, so you have to store it pretty well if you're gonna buy this one. So far, we've discussed just products that I've been really loving or I've loved and like would recommend, but then now let's go to products that are a bit disappointing or products that I'm not gonna buy again or I didn't even finish. And one of those is the Etude House Moistful Sleeping Mask. I really didn't like this one because number one, like, the smell is so intense, especially when you put it on. It smells like your grandma's products. Yeah, that smell, the chemically smell. It's cheap, which I think is a good thing. But whenever I use this, I always break out a lot, which is horrible. And I think it's very poor clogging. And unlike the Laneige face sleeping mask, this one would make your skin like feel oily. It doesn't actually hydrate your skin, which is pretty bad. So, would I recommend this product? I think there's better sleeping masks out there that you should spend your money on. Maybe you should get the Laneige, Laneige, Laneige one. It's available at Sephora. It's a bit expensive, but it's worth the money. It's not gonna break you out. It's gonna moisturize your skin. You put it on at night and you wake up like you're a newborn. Would I recommend it? No, and I wouldn't buy it again it out. I'm tossing that out and cleaning my cabinet. The next product I'm going to talk about that I kind of liked or maybe I just wanted to use it up because I bought it already is the COSRX uh, AHA Intensive Cream. This thing I use over the winter because the winters here in Canada get so drying to the skin. So you need like a very very thick and heavy cream to moisturize your face. But, that being said, it does get very oily and I get so many like whiteheads around my nose and down my chin whenever I use this product. So I think this product is just too heavy. Like it moisturizes but it's also very oily. I don't know. Maybe I still need to find a better product to use for the winter. But I'm not going to finish this one. Like there's still some here. Like look at that but I'm not going to finish this anymore. I tried using it over the summer and it was just horrible. Would I recommend it to people? Yes, if you have dry skin, but if you don't, then stay away from this product. It's too much, like it's too heavy. So you don't need, you don't need this in your life. If you have dry skin though, I think your skin would love this so much. The next product that we're going to talk about is this one. This is the COSRX Whitening Power Essence. I got this one because I thought it was going to be a good dupe for the Misha First Essence one, but actually this product is like a meh product. Like, I didn't notice a big difference when I used it. It wasn't like I woke up and I have new skin. No, nothing like that happened. It was meh. So maybe if like I have a different skin type, it's 
gonna work better. I buy this again. No, I'm not gonna buy this again. Would I recommend it to people? Maybe. Like, I feel like it would work for certain people, but it just didn't work out that well for me. So, the next product is... Um, this one. The Hyaluronic Acid Hydra Power Essence. Um, I use this one to layer on top. I like layering my skincare, so this one's pretty light and it layers pretty well. And it's also very moisturizing. It's pretty cheap. $15, I think. COSRX is actually a pretty good skincare brand. If you want to get into like K-beauty, Asian skincare, COSRX would be a really, really good brand to like delve your feet into. Would I buy it again? Maybe in the future? But I want to try Dark Elephant's version of this one too. Their hyaluronic acid serum that you put on top of everything. So I would definitely recommend it to people. Like, it's cheap, it's good, it does the job. I finished it, so it didn't break me out. Then, the next one would be this toner. I have another one in my bathroom right now of this toner. And I feel like this toner does the job pretty well. It's not too intense, it does the job. And you can easily apply it with a squirt pop with a spray nozzle at the top. So like, you just spray it after you're washing your face. And I think it works pretty well. Like, I didn't have any allergic reaction to it or anything. Plus, it wasn't so expensive. No scent. It's pretty good, pretty simple. So, I would definitely buy it again. And I would also recommend it to people. The next one would be a hair product, which is the Aussie Hair Insurance. Actually, last year, this time around, my hair was like up to here. And everyone always asks me how I grow my hair out so fast because I just got a haircut. And this is the length of my hair. So I use this product. Everyone would say like, oh, it has sulfates. It's not going to work. It's not good for your hair, but I think it works pretty well. Like, I didn't have any problems with it. Plus, it smells so good. It smells like coconuts and it smells like you're on vacation. So, I would definitely recommend this to people. I always recommend this to my friends. Like, I usually air dry my hair in the summer. So, like, after towel and dry, I spray this on and then I go. And that's it. Definitely recommend. Our last empty is... I have three bottles of it because I love it that much. One... There's two, and there's three. So, yeah. So, ugh, just that. So basically, I just use one brand of dry shampoo. I discovered it a few years ago, and I will never use another brand. Plus, it's a bit expensive, but you can buy it in like a Winners or a TJ Maxx. So, they sell it pretty cheaply, and I buy it in bulk, like buy like six at a time because I'm so scared they're gonna run out of it, and I'm like, and I have to buy it in the drugstore, which like costs a lot more. So here's the thing: if you wash your hair every day, it's gonna ruin your hair. So you need to let your hair rest from all the chemicals and just put dry shampoo over it. No one's gonna know. Plus, it smells so good that anyone who goes near you would be like, "Oh my gosh, her shampoo smells so good." I think that's it. Hopefully, I upload more videos to this channel, and hopefully you like my content. Please comment down below like types of videos you would want. I love fashion too, you know. I love fashion, skincare, traveling, so anything that you would like to see from this channel, just comment down below. Hit the red button and subscribe. Support a small channel like me that's still starting out.